All series for regular news here in the city of South of Monte, California, catching up with undefeated super lightweight contender Arnold Barbosa Jr. Arnold, one week away from fight night, man. I know you're exciting. I mean, you're excited. You're counting the days for fight night. You're taking on Sean McComb. A, a few weeks ago, it was announced who you were facing. Talk to us about your opponent on for. April the 20th. Oh man, first of all, for uh, excited, you know, to be fighting in Brooklyn, um, fighting on such a card of the magnitude of what this is going to be. Um, we're fighting Sean McComb. Uh, uh, he's pretty tall, about 5'11", 6 foot, lefty, uh, ranked number 8 by the WBO. Um, great boxer, you know, uh, good IQ. So we have our hands full, you know, we have our hands full and, um, and we're ready to go. It had been a while since you had uh, faced a southpaw. Last thing I remember, you fought someone by the name of Mike Reed. Um, any any comparisons to those two fighters? Uh, Mike Reed was was uh, a little more aggressive and a lot shorter. He was like five five or five six. You know, Sean McCombs almost six foot. But uh, but it's okay. You know what I mean? Uh, we, we we trained. You know, we, we got great sparring, some great lefties, some tall lefties in. Um, so we're ready to go. Let's go back to that press conference um, that took place between Haney and Garcia and you obviously you're the co-main event and all, all the all the commotion taking place during during uh, the press conference you kept your composure you were all business like Golden Boy kept promising you is Ryan Garcia does not make it on fight night you were gonna go ahead and jump into the main event what were your thoughts all along knowing at the time you didn't have an opponent but yet again you wanted to fight and, and you had that opportunity of being the main event and, and facing uh, the world champ Devin Haney well you know I, I, um, I kind of already had Sean McComb as the opponent you know what I mean the whole time you know all the whole camp so it's been, it wasn't announced no it just, wasn't announced okay. but but we, we didn't we didn't get no sparring for Haney we didn't do none of that we just got lefties coming in like we, we weren't worried about Haney you know um we weren't worried about Haney and all the circus that's going on over there we just worried about our or, you know about Sean McComb that's who we focused on um and and that's that's what we got ready for you know all, all the other stuff like you said it's just you know it's just commotion and outside noise uh you know um I'm glad Ryan's good and I'm glad he's gonna fight you know because it makes the fight bigger you know what I mean um I think it's good for boxing um so I'm excited I'm excited uh, to, to fight in the, on this card on you know the magnitude of it I know me and Sean McComb are, are gonna put on a good a good fight you know he has a good uh he's a good boxer you know so am i so so it might be a little chess match but uh but we're ready to go all right does it i've known you for years you know you and i we go way back from yeah, my yeah. from my early days you know doing covering the sport of boxing and all some fans, some media members would say oh, Arnold Barbosa doesn't have the name to push the type of fight for this magnitude. Yeah. But you've been putting in your work. I see you're putting in the work in the gym and stuff. What would you say to all those non-believers, all the media members, all those fans that still don't know who Arnold Barbosa is? Well, because you hadn't been in this type of a fight. This type. This yeah. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, it's not that I haven't been in this type of a fight, but you know, I just I never really did my part as far as like social media because that's like a job in itself. You know what I mean? So. So, um, but, but this fight, you know, uh, I, I promised myself, you know, coming into this year that, you know, it was going to be all boxing and, and just, you know, not that it hasn't always been, but it's going to literally be just, you know, everything for boxing, you know, if, if you know, because I'm, I'm the type of person that doesn't like to really go places and, and you know, and do stuff. Yeah, you're, you know. you're a family I'm just, man. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm at home, you know, I'm ready to do carasas with, with, with friends, you know what I mean? Right. But, but I made it a point to, you know, um, to go out there and get out there more, you know, and that's what I've been doing. You know, you see my social media has been, you know, on fire. Um, I've been promoting the fight really good you know um so so you know hopefully that you know getting the fan base also in new york and brooklyn you know um hopefully that that can uh elevate me to, to what's next you know uh come uh, of course be victorious saturday so do you do you think that the, the whole social media thing like you said giving it an extra push does that help you as an athlete is that a, like you said a job in itself or do you focus more on being or becoming a better fighter like you want to be and, and go to the top well i mean i think it's a little bit of both you know i mean i'm in the gym when i'm in the gym i'm, I'm in the gym and I'm focused on being a better fighter, you know, but, you know, outside of the gym, you know, um, uh, you know, it, it's, it's it's business as well. You know what I mean? It's, it's how you carry your brand, you know, so, so that's something that, that we, you know, finally, you know, 
I kind of finally, you know, just embraced, you know, so, so, um, you know, but now it's, it's, it's you know, all that's done with it's now it's, uh, it's time to go. It's time to, it's time to go to work. Um, I'm excited, you know, close camp, smart and strong. I uh, feel good, you know, I'm only a few pounds away, so I'm ready to go. Okay. Like I was telling you before this interview, uh, Arnold, I was covering uh, the Richardson Hitchens fight this past Saturday in Vegas when he uh, took on this tough Argentine boxer by the name of Gustavo Lemos. It was a uh, Split decision, 115-113. One judge, unfortunately, had it way wider than that. Yeah. But a lot of people saw Gustavo Lemos winning that fight. Your thoughts on that fight, and do you see Richardson Hitchens as a future opponent in the near future? Um, you know, it was a good fight. You know, for, first off, you know, hats off to Richardson. Um, you know, he, he showed a little bit of dog in him. Um, that's what people wanted to see. Um, you know, I think Richardson is a good fighter. You know, Lemos could make trouble for any boxer, right? Uh, but but it's a good fight, you know. Um, I had the fight for sure closer than what that one judge had it, you know. But but it was a good fight for him. We got learning experience, um, and of course, you know, we're on the same network. You know, where he's ranked in WBO, so so am I. So you know, but but like look, like I said, you know, like you know me, I was like nothing ever matters to me until I'm done with this fight. Right. You know? So so we're not looking forward for I'm looking forward to anything else. But you know, Sean McComb and on April 20th. I've been watching uh, some of uh, Sean McComb's interviews, you know, from the UK when he took on. Uh, Sam Maxwell and, and you know dropped him three times in his previous yeah. fight. You know he looks Strong. probably his best performance of his mm -hmm. career. And some of these post-fight interviews, he did mention your name, mm -hmm. and he thought of you as a big name. Mm -hmm. So he he's really focused. He yeah. just doesn't come to the states just to you know collect a paycheck. He, he wants to show the world that he he can beat you. Mm -hmm. uh, your thoughts on that? No, you know as he should. You know what I mean? Um, uh, you know he he wants the number one spot. You know that's where I'm at. Uh, a lot of people, you know, could could argue, uh, you know, a person in my position why take a fight like Macomb, you know, so it's a, you know, a high risk, you know, a low reward. But you know, to me, it's it's you know, he's number eight. He was available. The next up, everyone was busy. Um, and we're not here to you know to fight you know guys that are not ranked. You know, we're we're we, you know you know me from my whole career. Uh, we've always wanted to fight guys that are ranked. So I think he's he's perfect. You know, I think you know to challenge myself. You know, um, I know he's hungry. You know. And, and, and so am I. You know what I mean? Uh, he wants to my number one spot, but <laughs> I don't want to let it go. So, so it's gonna be a good fight, man. Everyone tune in April 20th. Trust me, it's gonna it's gonna be an amazing. You, show. you base your decisions, Arnold, on what your dad tells you. You've, mm -hmm. you've been saying this over and over. Um, does this type of matchup? Is this the type of fight you would like? Because it, it, it looks like uh, Shama Kam is gonna come on fight night and, and come forward and, and exchange with you. Yeah, you know, of course. Like I said, you know, we're always, uh, you know, we we take pride in in, in training and, and uh, for everything, you know, for Plan A, Plan B. So, so whether it's a chess match or whether it's a, it's a fight, you know, we've been in both. You know, what I mean, we've, we've literally been in both. So. So uh, yeah, we're excited. You know, I always go off what my dad says. So so we got our game plan in place and very confident. All right. So obviously your focus is Sean McComb on April the 20th, but there are so many movements going on in the 140 pound division. Let's start with the champ in the WBO. Teofimo Lopez is supposedly negotiating a fight with Steve Claggett. It's not finalized yet. Mm -hmm. You rank number one for the WBO. You got Jose Ramirez taking on Rastin's Bartholomew the following week. You got Sean McCombs in the, on the same uh, sanctioning body too. What would it take, how long does Teofimo Lopez have to defend his title before he vacates it if he doesn't defend it? Um, well, I think he has until, I don't know, like September or something. You know, he has like a whole year to, you know, to choose who he wants. Okay. I'm um, not worried about it. You know, um, when it happens, it happens. You know, my job is to, to keep winning, you know, keep improving. Um, and it starts April 20th, you know, is getting, getting, you know, getting the job done, you know, because without getting the job done April 20th, then none of this even conversation even right. matters. On on January the 6th, when when you uh, defended uh, Solinsani and Dongeni, um, Ismael Barroso won his interim title for the WBA. Mm -hmm. Is there any chance of you of, of challenging Ismael Barroso for his title? Yeah, you know, we, we asked, you know, we asked for this fight, you know, but uh, but I think he took some, some family time from what we were told, and, and um, but, but I I mean, like I said, I don't know, you know, we're not really WBA route. I don't know if, I don't even know if we're right to WBA, which is crazy, but, but, you know, but, um, but hey, man, look, you know, any, any chance I can get at a title, you know, then that, that's what I'll, I'll do. Could the WNBA, I mean, I'm sorry, could the WBA make an exception and uh, have Ismael Barroso fight a, uh, 
a fighter like yourself? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. You know, I'm pretty sure I've seen it before. You know, so you've seen, you know, uh, people come off of losses and get title shots. So, so I think anything's possible. So you just want all the drama between uh, Ryan Garcia and, and Devin Haney, just get it over with, just focus on your fight, and whoever wins that fight, are you going to walk to the ring and, and, and challenge the champ? Yeah, of course, I'm always going to challenge the champions, you know what I mean, that, that's, that's our job, right, you know, um, so, so I'm, I'm excited, you know, um, to see what's going to happen in that fight, you know, I think, I think everyone is, um, but, you know, if the opportunity presents itself, of course, you know, any champion. So, so we're, we'll be tuned in. Of course, we're there, you know, but we're also tuned into all the other champions. I don't know. This is a level in your boxing career where you wanted to be all those years of putting in the hard work. You finally got into to the big leagues. Yeah. What would you say to all those British fans, uh, fight fans out there that are tuning in on April the 20th and uh, are finally going to get to see Arnold Barbosa Jr. on the grand stage? Man, you know, the, the thing about the, uh, the, the, those, those fans is they're, they're, uh, they're, they're boxing fans, you know what I mean? So whether, you know, hopefully I can make a, you know, fans out of them, you know what I mean? So, so hopefully I get their support after this fight, you know. Um, you know, I'm not the fighter that's disrespectful, so, you know, uh, but but I'm excited to fight, you know, an Irishman, you know, that's been a dream of mine, you know, fight, you know, for some reason, but, uh, but you know, I'm excited, you know, if you tune in, April 20th, uh, me and uh, Sean McCormick are going a great fight. All right, and last but not least, shout out to South of Mountain, man, we're in your hometown. Oh, yeah, man, of course, <laughs> back, back home and doing camp, comfortable, you know, um, best city in the world. Right. Humble, this guy means business, ladies and gentlemen, Arnold Barbosa Jr., Co-main event taking on Sean McCormick, hungry Irish fighter. Do not miss it. They may steal the show. Thank you very much, Arnold.